okay so in this video we're going to learn how to delete and we're going to do that by just simply adding an additional button to this dude here uh, so let's head back to our code and what we're going to do it's uh, let's go to index or ejx so what we're going to do it's uh, among this i'm going to add another option here but i'm not going to add an anchor tag and the reason for that is the so um, search engines normally click your links so uh we don't want you to click that link and then that post is deleted <laughs> that would be funny that when it, your site is indexed or your post are gone so let's add a button instead so i'll just create a form and the action which is going to be the route is going to be slash blogs slash and i'm going to pass in the id so blog oops ejs and syntax equal to blog dot id just close that syntax and then i'm going to have a method override which is going to be the delete method so i'll put a question mark and i'll put underscore method and i'll say equal to delete and of course i'll add the default method which is post so we're going to be overriding that post method so in the form i'll just have a simple button i'll just give it a class of rounded rounded circle i'll give it some you know some padding give it a color default bootstrap color and let me just add uh, let me just copy this material icon that i'm using copy this i'm going to change this to delete so when we save let's refresh our browser and see what we have refresh so i have that option here so this is going to serve as our delete okay so let's set up that route so that'll be this slash blog slash this is going to delete that so let's go to our blogs route and then let's say underneath here let's say route to handle delete so all we need to say is router dot delete and then just like how we have the updates uh we're going to pass in slash i uh slash then column id and right out of the bat i'll just make this an async so that we don't have any errors so request response and this is an arrow function so all i need to do here is just await block dot find and delete so find by id and then we're going to delete that or all passing just the request dot params and id so when that happens just going to redirect to the home page by just using the slash route so this should be easy so let's refresh let us delete this one so i click on this click on delete and that's gone it's as simple as that that is deleted so in the next video we're going to learn how to um uh we're going to learn how to when we create a new blog how to add files to our blog post so that we can upload images so see you in the next video